Hey, you UOP. It's Kenneth again. And I'm back here in City Walk because today, for the first time ever, totally unannounced, the U new Universal Studios store is open. So uh, let's look at it. Let's go. There it is. That's the new sign for the new Universal Studios store. Walking right in on the main drag of City Walk. But uh, let's go take a look at it. That is a nice looking sign. Here we go. Oh, advertising Velocicoaster right up front. In the first window you see. Fantastic. Let's get, a, let's get another look. Look at that marquee. That is so fancy looking. This is like truly the ultimate Universal Studios store. This is like the best version. Let's go see what's inside. Wow. So this is like right in that corner entrance. And this seems to be, I'm in like a little Jurassic Park section right here. But we're also sharing this room with some Hello Kitty stuff, some Minion stuff, kind of everything. There's Santa's Little Helper. Got some Simpsons, Hello Kitty. She's dressed as a T-Rex. I kind of want that now. Is this her as a Jaws shark? Oh my God, I've never seen that. Wow, I want that. Scooby-Doo. So obviously most of the merchandise in here is stuff that's already been available. What we're really looking at is like the displays and the design of the store itself, which is very, um, I guess, modern, uh, like sleek kind of look. I like this setup for the t-shirts. So this is really, really reminding me a lot of the World of Disney store at Disney Springs. Like that's what this is screaming to me. Um, are these, I don't know, these shirts might be new designs. Actually, I don't re recognize most of these. Um, let yourself, whoa. Okay, yeah, I think these are new designs. That Patrick one is not new. I, I definitely have seen that. Sexy bald guy. Okay, not all of these are new. I recognize some of these designs, but some of them might look new to me. There's parcel pickup. Now, I wonder if that's like this, like instead of being at the exit of the park now, it's in here. It's hard to even know what to point the camera at because like everything in here is new. Oh, this looks cool. So this is like the center of the store. Um, and the, <laughs> that screen thing in the top is really cool. And there's like a, a globe design behind the cash registers. Very nice. We got some candy right there. Some Christmas stuff over here, looks like. Oh, there's a chandelier. Wow, fancy. Oh, whoa, it goes even further back that way. All right. Okay, I like this. It's really nice in here. Looks like this is like a Harry Potter wand room. Um, I really like the way that those are displayed up there. There's some cool stuff in here. So obviously most of the stuff in there was stuff we've already seen. We're really only looking at like what the rooms look like. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, again, I, I think it reminds me a lot of the uh, World of Disney store. Look how fancy that sign is. And this one. Through that door is where the registers are with that screen circle. That was pretty cool. Um, but it reminds me a lot of... Uh, the world of Disney at uh, Disney Springs. It kind of feels like they looked at that store and said, we can do that too. Uh, and I guess that I have no problem with that. It's not like the old Universal store was as kitschy and over the top as the old world of Disney was. So it's not really that big of a change. It's just a nicer space. So I'm okay with that. I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's a much better location in terms of like, you know, it feels like they were ashamed of the Universal Studio store in the, in the old location. Like you had to go looking for it. This one, there's no avoiding it. So I do like that. I think that's pretty good. Speaking of the old location, I also have not seen this. This is now the Universal Legacy Store. Legacy Store. I don't know what that means. 
But let's go look. This is already super cool from the outside. We got, apparently I saw somebody put that these used to sit atop the arches but at the entrance. And uh, that is really cool if that's what these are. Cause they don't really scream like anything recognizable. So uh, I just like that they're here. Even if I didn't know what they were from, I'd be like, that's cool, what's in there? Oh, a mummy thing. Here we got a doom bot just standing here in the middle of this store. Here we have this fly chamber um, from the original version of the horror makeup show. And they were at the exit of uh, Born during Horror Nights last week. Big shark teeth. Ooh. Ooh. There's so much good stuff in here. Uh, feels like we're just in a museum or like in a storage unit. Is that a Ghostbusters pack? Nice. From the Jaws ride. Grenade launcher. Love that. One of these guys from the movie, uh, presumably. Who knows if it is actually from the movie, but it uh, represents that at least. I know that outfit. There's a cannon. There's a thing. So I thought that was a prop. It's not. It's like a shirt printer. <laughs> From that one movie, you know. So this is like a little sign talking about Hulk. But I don't really know. I guess that stuff is from Hulk. That sign doesn't really seem to really stand for him very much. Here's a bunch of boxes, if you like boxes. From the box movie. Remember the box movie? A mummy bust. Oh, I love this song from E.T. <laughs> a dinosaur egg. All right. It's the Halloween version of E.T. That's my favorite. <laughs> home. Home. I love that scene. So good. I'm glad. There's a fire hydrant and stuff. A lot of this stuff feels like just random stuff that isn't from anything. Like, just a bunch of random phones over there. Okay. Some rockets. That feels kind of Despicable Me-ish, actually. Just some rockets. Why not? Ew. Ooh. Just a bunch of random stuff. All right. Oh, whoa, this is a big thing. Okay, now that's cool. Obviously not, an, not a ride vehicle from the looks of it. Cool. I wonder if these are from like Earthquake, the movie. Um, those are like miniature of the of the Earthquake ride vehicles. All right, there's some cool stuff up there. So this is the model of Hogsmeade, like in the design phase, when they were planning what they would build. They were like, "What if it looked like this?" and it does. It looks like that. Pretty wild. Although, yeah, that's right. That's the, yeah, that's right. They did it. They just did what they said they were going to do. And there's Jurassic Park's our choice. So cool. So cool. I don't know what this is, but it's big and cool. I like that. So that's the uh, Legacy store. Over there is the Universal Studios store. There seems to be virtually no difference between the merchandise at either one. It's just the vibe and the atmosphere, the ambiance, the je ne sais quoi. It's just a matter of like the, the vibe that you like to go for is really gonna be the big difference. Obviously it's a lot more cramped in the Legacy store. The Universal Studios store has a lot more space, a lot more spread out. And you know what, there probably is some stuff in the studio store that isn't in the Legacy store, just because there, there has to be. It's just a matter of math. It's a matter of, uh, you know, how many things can fit in a given space. So that, I think, does it. That's your uh, Universal Retail 
Roundup, if you will. That can be the title of this episode. City Walk Retail Roundup. So until next time, until something else cool happens, remember to listen to the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast for all the latest on the parks and stuff like that. You can check me out on the New Rush of Fear podcast, which lives on the UUOP feed. And you'll hear us talking about all the latest developments from Halloween Horror Nights right there. It's can you can't hear me. There's a helicopter.